All right, welcome back. Outfit change for the episode. She's a bunny. And now I'm able to, uh, well, I thought I was able to, hold up. Oh, there you go. The last episode I was talking about, I had got new clothes for Lily. This is the new outfit, Lily Rock. This is what she was, Rock. So I switched it to the uh, rainy day outfit. Uh, I don't have no outfits for Adam. And yeah, that's where we at now. Let's go through this door. My thing is, if this one of the outfits that they censored, I'm like, they added like maybe half an inch underneath what she's wearing. So I'm like, what are you, what are you censoring at this point? It's an outfit, bro. Like I said a few episodes back about the whole censorship and people uh, signing petitions. It ain't that serious, bro. Lights are red. I have a bad feeling. Bro, I feel like this is the room. Oh, damn, we're stuck. Obviously. This feel like the room from uh Resident Evil. Oh, I thought the lasers was gonna close in on me. Look like I just got a fight. Still can't pull out of uh, the lasers without a single scratch. I just gotta survive this wave of enemies. I did not see them on the floor, bro. They be blending in good. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, it's one hit? I did not know it was one hit. I thought it was just gonna take some of my health. That's crazy. So I'm assuming that eventually it's gonna start closing in even more. Stuck. And they try to handicap you by only letting you use your gun. You know, with the swords, you'd probably make quick work. Without a single scratch. Yeah, I see y'all. Yeah, it is closing in. I think the more, the longer I take, the more closing. Reload. Oh. Uh-uh, bag it up, bag it up. Oh, I almost hit it again. Bro, really? You, made it. you sure we made it, bro? Barely. Okay, there's an elevator right here that ain't operational. It's still okay. I'm like, is the lasers going across right here? I can't operate this either. Oh, yeah, you come from. Good now. Done. The elevator should work now. Elevator should work now. We got the cheeks out this episode. There's contamination here as well. 
There should be a weakness. Go ahead and activate this. What is my health fit? Okay. No, no, no. Sit down. We good. We good. Boy, oh, how I destroy this. Okay. Great job. I seen some stuff lit up, so I assume shoot it. Right decision. Right decision. Go on about your business. Go on about your business, bruh. Are we go open lockers now? All right, let me in here. Let me in here. We still have yet to run into what I would think would be the big boss down here. Uh, contamination is advancing here. Okay, I ain't got a code it's for this. Closed. We have to look for a security code. Obviously, bro. That's why I backed up off of. I still haven't opened that crate from the first uh episode. I haven't been back over there either, though. So if I do have a combination for it, I just don't know. Cause I haven't checked. Okay, we got a code here. Somewhere nearby. Is that the code for this door here? Try entering the code. That's what I just asked, bro. Let me in. It worked. Obviously. Hold up, bro. I can't. <laughs> I can't scan the area, so I don't know if that's the way they want me to go, or if it's this way. Let's check this way first. Whatever happens, happens. It's definitely the way they want me to go. That's definitely the way they want me to go. Let's go back the other way. Unless they both lead to the same area. Oh, this area blocked off. This way is blocked off, so I would I would have had to go this way. Regardless. When it is making it hard to control the drone. Well, let them things blow up first. That way I can just dodge. Alright, we good now. Now all I gotta do is just dodge the Gotta shoot. I don't see what I need to shoot. Oh, okay, I see it now. Really? Bro, hit the top. I get the hell out of the way. Get out of the Look way. Up. Oh man, it's two different directions. Okay, this is just for this crate. Oh, 
down. Go down. Your movement. Definitely need more ammo. Oh, fight going on still. Now give me some more ammo. Thank you. Appreciate you. It's a save point up top. Oh, it's one of these. I'm about to mess up. I figured. Got it. Yeah, see, those are the harder ones. Where it's just popping up randomly. Okay, we're going up. A supply cap is here as well. Uh, let's take a breath anyway. Okay, so this is probably why I should have ended the last episode, huh? The hell is that? Oh no, come here. Can't jump over it? Yeah, come here. I can't pull my gun out. Like, bro. Give me all that. Give me all that. All right, now let's activate the camp. Now let's take that risk you talking about. Okay, we got a cutscene. The Natibas here. Oh, they ain't even the cutscene it now. Let me get the camera right then. The Natibas are definitely different from the ones on the surface. A lot of them aren't even on our list of Natibas. Elder, you're keeping something from us. What is it? They ain't do a good job of mouth sinking. Okay, I just upgraded my drone. I'm about to say, where we going now? We're going up, obviously. We stop putting the camera in her ass. Well, where the hell is we on? Oh, okay. Okay, that's the boss fight. And that's that hallway that we was on the other side of, right? About to fight a meatball of human. I know it's attached to stuff. Be careful. It grew by consuming the hydrosol. Stay still. Here. Oh, I got it to where I can hold. Uh... Oh, let me swap. Bruh, hold up, man. I'm trying to swap. Not where I wanted to shoot that. Uh, I swapped it. Now that would take too long. Yeah, no. 
I can't go no further back. <laughs> I was sitting there trying to run back and realize I couldn't move. Hell no, ball, calm down. Back him up. That was an easy ball spike. Unless he got another mutation. Nah, he done. Look, it's a hyperdrive. Give me that. So now I need what, two more? About to shove that up her ass. Preservation status is good. You'd right. think they would have gave her something smaller to carry. Or at least give up. I'll have the pod waiting for you. When Make it go. small enough to where she had a backpack or something she could have put it in. There's there's a legacy here. Yeah, I want it. Legacy. What's that? It's a device with records left by the yeah, what is that? before me. What is, whatever it is, I want information for the next airborne squad. I see. But why would an airborne squad come all the way here? Maybe they knew something about the Alpha or the Elder. I'll check the legacy. Basically. Are oh, we checking it right here? I thought she was going to bring it back with her. Day eight after the second dive. Third record. Legacy account Raven. Remaining survivors Ripley and Danis. Anis is in a bad condition. Death is very likely at this rate. We discovered this laboratory 4.47 kilometers from the drop-off point. It seems to be a facility that studied Natibas, but it's hard to obtain accurate information due to severe contamination. However, I discovered an astonishing fact while searching through the data. And what might that be? Before the war we call the Final War, there was another war. It was a war fought between humanity and the androids humanity had themselves created. The so-called Andro Ados. And what are those? Humans lost the war against their own creation. The few humans who did survive hid in underground facilities, but the hunt was far from over. However, an unexpected factor turned the tide of the war. And what might that be? With mankind at the verge of extinction, Natiba's powerful creatures from an unknown origin appeared out of nowhere. The war with the Natibas brought about the destruction of the androids. And so during the So time, one problem mankind, defeated another problem, but created another problem. From now on, I plan to investigate the origin of Natibas. Hopefully at the origin point, I should find the elder Natiba. To anyone who may be watching, may Mother Spear's blessings be with you. Right on. Amen. I didn't think a record like this existed. And there was another big war before the final war. I never learned about anything like That's that. That's what she said. What do you think, Adam? The history of mankind is riddled with conflict. It's hardly a surprise to hear about wars before the final war. Even so, it's strange that this wasn't passed down. I'll retrieve the legacy and go back. It's like they had any information for some reason. I can pick you up with a tetrapod. Okay. Oh, well, thank you, bro. I appreciate you for coming all the way out here. That way I don't have to walk all the way back. So I was going to fast travel anyway. Hey, ma'am, how you doing? Got anything new to say? Do you want to take the test again? Hell no. I got time to keep beating your ass, aren't you? There's a gate over there. Matter of fact, hold up. Because I think this gate probably locked on the other side, so I'm going to open it. 
Because I believe that's the way I came in. Yeah, because I came down right there. So good thing I didn't run this way first. All right, let's go talk to them. What you got, Lily? Tell me if you need anything. Okay, all Lily wanted to do was upgrade my uh sword damage. They could do like 700 now. You did great, Eve. Shall we go back to Zion? Hell yeah. Let's get on board. And you land this thing any slower, bro. So I'm assuming we're taking that core to. I'm about to say to the vault. They calling it a chain. This is the shop I was talking about. For the. Uh, the change of hair. The only issue I have with the hairstyles, let's go in and so I can if show. If someone wants to change styles, does hair have to be cut? Uh, Give me pass. Anyhow, I'll apply that. Let me pass this conversation. They pretty much had the same conversation every time. The only issue I have with the haircuts is that some of them look like they short hairstyles, but they keep the ponytail, so it just looks weird. Like you got a short dude, but you still got that ponytail hanging in the back. So, I don't know if they thought that through or not. So it's like the ones that I prefer are like this one here where it's an updo. Or this one. Or this the one I got. No, this ain't the one I got current. Which one I got right now? This one here. And then certain hairstyles got uh, different colors. But it's like, it's not no drastic color change. It's just something light. It's like highlights. But it looks weird because this looks like it's supposed to be a short hair dude. And then she got that long ass ponytail coming out the back out of nowhere. So yeah, that's pretty much the hairstyle customization. I don't know if later on in the game it's going to be another area similar to this where it's going to be a different shop, different hairstyles. I thought this was her out there that I was fighting. It just must be their uniforms. Dope. Open this door. We definitely gonna have a fight in here, bro. It's too much space in here. Oh, look, they met me down here. I was gonna go past them and go put the core in. As expected, my eyes did not deceive me. Excellent work, Adam. Your eyes. I'll leave this one to you as well. Is he not blind? Let's go to the hyperdrive. That's where I was going. Y'all stop me with this cutscene. Secondary drive energy injection. Initiating activation. Now. I'm helping them and they exit the bad guys. What we're doing is really worth it. Boy, was you always standing here? Oh, this old boy that was out in the desert, wasn't he? Hey, move out of the way. I'm busy. A Angel? <laughs> Sorry I didn't recognize you. But I see you might want to watch how you talking I'm to me. Definitely an ungrateful one. Get your ass thrown off this uh this platform. Did I go down here last time? Oh, ain't nothing down. 
ain't nothing down here. I'm assuming at some point those two boards that's down there are gonna be able to activate. Y'all, we got to talk to y'all or what? Oh, y'all good. Assuming we got to go back and talk to uh, the Master Roshi. Look. What you got? Again. Thank you. Now it's your turn. Wait. He will give you an answer. Boy, I ain't talking to you. There's a sewage treatment facility and a train graveyard in the old city center. Okay. I'm detecting the frequencies of an alpha nativa coming from Matrix 11. Matrix. Matrix 11. You don't want to see me in the I Matrix. Map data to the tetrapod. It will guide you as you attempt to travel to the Alpha Nativa's location. Well, thanks for helping us. It means a lot. None of this can compare to all that you have done for Zion, I assure you. Thanks. I wish you luck. Don't need it. Appreciate it. We gotta talk to him back at the safe house. Okay, they're gonna fast travel me there. The town seems different. Yeah, more people outside. I see more people, more signs. Oh, I helped the old girl down there in that bar. I told you, what we've accomplished has been well worth it. I don't think we'll be catching any more sideways glances. Well, that's great to hear. To be honest, I was getting a bit anxious. Say so. Going over to the tetrapod. Why don't you take some time to enjoy the new scenery? Boy, ain't nothing changed but people outside. I'm anti-social, bro. I don't too much like to uh be talking to everybody. Uh, well, girl, it. It's the only person I probably go talk to. Oh, let's go talk to old girl in the uh down here. See if she got something new to say. Enya, what is it? Eve. What's wrong? You're not singing like usual. Well, the thing is, it's Sue. He hasn't come here recently. Yeah, he hadn't been here the last couple of times I, I came down here. He's seeing someone else. Do you... Do you think he will abandon me? I don't think so. Well, you don't have your later parts down bottom, Please, so if he need them parts, this interact with you. Pretty sure he out there cheating. I heard it from Bo, one of Sue's colleagues. Eve, I'm sorry to bother you with this, but I can't leave here because of my legs. Can you ask around for me and maybe find out what's going on? Okay. Or can I just find you some legs and you go find out on your own, man? You get no caught up in your, uh... Thank you very much. Your missing relationship. That's a side mission, man. I'm gonna do that off camera. Let's go talk to old boy back at the headquarters. And then I, uh... Was this dark green? It is green. He was talking crazy last time I came down here. It's you, Angel. Now, why would an angel visit the last gulp? Here for a song, perhaps? Well, I get to the point. The same. I thought you'd be busy collecting scraps or trading like the other scavengers. Yeah. That's what I'd be doing. If it wasn't for my partner screwing up. He entered the forbidden area. Trying to find a jackpot for the sake of Zion and the store. Or so he says. That place is the Devil's Lair. That's why there's lost treasure in it. Devil's Lair? I already know what he's talking about, I the think. The Devil's Lair. 
It's a An big crater. They go foot down, and I went down there, but it was a door down that lock. I, I couldn't get in the place to find my partner, but I turned back like a coward. After that, I couldn't possibly continue life as a scavenger. I can't stand idly by if Natibas are involved. I'll help. What? Why? Basically, he was talking crazy as hell last time I came I down here. A gift horse in the mouth. I just want to know. If Tommy is alive, he probably did, bro. All I Spoiler need to alert. do is find him. Fair enough. Send me the location. Get me out of here. So now that the city more vibrant, I'm assuming. But look, he green too. I'm assuming everybody's gonna be giving me missions now. I ain't about to talk to him right now. We'll pick his mission up later. Let's go see if old girl got something new to say. The uh, one that run the shop down here. Nah, she ain't got no green dot on her. And then she got that crate right here. But I don't have the cold food. Yeah, I don't have the cold food. So let's go back to the ship. And see what Adam got to say before I wrap this episode up. You're here. Yes, I am. Look over here. The hell is that? What's this? Uh, this here is an alpha signal meter. This device uses the subtle resonance from the alpha core to pinpoint its location. It can't reach a super long distance, but you'll find it useful once you head over to the location Orkel told you about. Wow, good work. <laughs> You're gonna put me out of a job. What do you do? You were other than fly the ship? Job. <laughs> yeah, She's been fun. hella helpful since we bought her onto the team. Thank you for helping me out all the time, Lily. And just one more. Can you turn around for me? Yeah, what is she trying to do? Done. Kind of weird shit you on. What have you done, Lily? I customized the power distribution of the body cell. Doesn't your body feel lighter? Oh, so I can jump further now? Something does feel different. If you try jumping, I bet you'll notice the difference. <laughs> okay, so I can jump further now. Oh, I can double jump. I said early on, I don't remember what episode it was, but I said the game need a double jump. There we go. She do like little flips and stuff. She doing little flips and whatnot. Okay, what are you talking about? So, you're ready to go? Matrix 11 is an underground facility. The search perimeter is extensive. So make sure you're prepared. We ain't gonna leave yet. Let me know when you're ready, Eve. I'll be here. We gonna head over there in the next episode. These are all the cans I found so far. Don't know what they really do. Don't know what I'm going to unlock if I find all of them. But I just been getting them as I go. But that's why I'm going to leave this episode off at. So till next time. Peace.